Hello. In this video, I will be explaining how to balance a chemical equation from a word problem. The equation we will be using is potassium phosphate plus aluminum nitrate yields potassium nitrate plus aluminum phosphate. The first step in this process is writing out the formula using the chemical equation for each molecule. This is what the chemical equation looks like. Potassium is represented by K, phosphate is PO4, aluminum is Al, and nitrate is NO3. The changes that had to be made to this formula to make it correct are in orange. The reason changes had to be made is because each molecule has to be balanced before the entire formula can be balanced. So for potassium phosphate, we have a negative 3 charge, which is phosphate, but potassium only has a positive 1 charge. To balance that molecule, we need to have 3 potassiums, so that we'll have a positive 3 and a negative 3, so the molecule is balanced. Aluminum nitrate also needs to be balanced. Nitrate has a charge of minus one, while aluminum has a positive three charge. To balance this molecule, nit we need to have three nitrates, so that we'll have a positive three charge in aluminum, and a negative three charge with the three nitrates. The other two molecules are already balanced, with a positive one, negative one in potassium nitrate, and a positive three, negative three in aluminum phosphate. In order for the entire equation to be balanced, there needs to be the same amount of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. To balance the equation, we need to add coefficients in front of the molecules. At this point, we cannot change subscripts anymore. Usually, when counting the number of atoms for each element on each side of the equation, it's easier to keep track of if you group the polyatomic as one and treat it like an element. So for nitrate, you're looking to see if nitrate has the same amount of atoms on both sides and looking to see if there are the same amounts of phosphate on each side instead of looking at each individual element like oxygen or nitrogen. It's easier to treat the entire polyatomic like one element. So as of right now, potassium, represented by K, and nitrate, represented by NO3, are the elements or polyatomics that are not balanced. N potassium has three on the left side and only one on the right, and the same applies to nitrate, which has three on the left and only one on the right side of the equation. To make it so that there are three potassiums on each side, we'll yeah. need to add a, co a coefficient of three in front of the molecule potassium nitrate. This coefficient applies to the entire molecule, so potassium now has 3 on the right side, and so does nitrate. This is the only coefficient we will have to add, because it takes care of the potassium and nitrate differences in atoms. This is the final balanced formula for this chemical equation. This formula is classified as double displacement because it follows the formula AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. Potassium combines with nitrate, which is the AD combination, and aluminum combines with phosphate, which is the CB combination. So since this chemical equation matches the AB plus CD yields AD plus CB formula, that means the chemical equation is classified as double displacement. 